Hello everyone, today we are talking about magnesium deficiency. So if you have diabetes, high blood pressure, rhythm problems, cardiovascular disease, osteoporosis, fragile bones, irritability, anxiety, seizures, if you have any of these, stay tuned because we will talk about how magnesium can help you with all of these problems right now. Guys, I'm Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist and a diabetes expert. Today, we are talking about the importance of magnesium deficiency. So, the magnesium is involved in many processes, especially the muscle function, the nerve function, and in your insulin metabolism. People who drink alcohol, people who are on diuretics, which we call them water pills, or people who have chronic diarrhea may become magnesium deficient way quicker than the others. Now, what's interesting is although magnesium is commonly found in, lo in a lot of foods, like the dairy, the meat, the green leafy vegetables, the nuts, all the good stuff, well, as we all know, in American diet, we, these are not super common, and a lot of people are magnesium deficient. As a result, you know, most people end up having the side effects of magnesium deficiency, which is insulin resistance and diabetes, but also irritability, anxiety. Again, your muscles and your nerves affect or cause a lot of problems. For example, if your nerves are irritable, you are going to have like symptoms like twitching, you will be irritable, your muscles will cause fatigue and tiredness, even muscle twitching, your digestion is not going to be good, your heart will be very excitable, so as a result you will have arrhythmia or rhythm problems, and the worst is seizures because if you're overly excited because of magnesium deficiency in your nerves, then it can even lead to seizures, especially if you have a tendency for it. Your endothelium, your, your blood vessels are lined with nerves and muscles, and if it is not appropriately functioning, you will end up with high blood pressure and, as a result, cardiovascular disease as well. Now, the next question is, how much magnesium do you really need, right? Well, the magnesium, of course, if you're having enough magnesium in your diet, that is great. If you do not, you're looking around 400 milligrams of magnesium. If you go up to 800 or more, you can, uh, but it's gonna give you the runs. You may end up with diarrhea. Now, if you are constipated, actually that may not be a bad idea to do so to take more magnesium. Now, when you test your magnesium in your blood, uh, it may not show low. There are some tests out there that actually test the intracellular magnesium levels, although they are more expensive, but if your doctor or yourself are very suspicious of it, I would suggest testing the magnesium in the cells because the blood levels do not go down until you are really, really depleted with magnesium. So as a result, you know, if your magnesium is like 1.8, you know, 1.9, anything less than 2, I would be very highly suspicious that you actually have significant magnesium deficiency. And remember that if you have symptoms, sometimes, you know, you need to proactively go ahead and treat because unless you're over treating with magnesium, magnesium supplementation is not necessarily harmful unless you're having side effects such as diarrhea. Hello everyone, did you know that 1 in 10 Americans are a chromium deficient? And when you look at the diabetic population, that is far, far above that. Probably every three to four diabetic are chromium deficient. Now, what is chromium to begin with? All right guys, chromium is a mineral. It is an important mineral. It is. It works in the glucose metabolism. So basically, if you don't have the chromium, your insulin will not function well and you will develop insulin resistance. Now, we are kind of deficient in chromium in America most of the time and the, reason are, the reasons are multiple. Now, number one, our soil and water is not really uh, rich in chromium. So the foods are not rich in chromium and the trivalent form of the chromium is not well absorbed. You're only absorbing 1% of what you're getting in your diet. So that's why there are supplements out there that are chromium uh, picolinate, 
when you chelate the chromium with picolinate, then the absorption becomes a lot easier. So as a result, you don't need a lot of chromium to be able to replace your deficiency. Chromium is also very important in making protein, cholesterol, and fat in the body. So before I move further, I want to remind you something that we have a quiz. At the end of this video, go down to the description below and take the quiz and take the chance to win a chapter from my diabetes book, which is called The Ultimate Diabetes Book. We are giving away the uh, electronic forms, the ebooks, uh, a chapter every time. It could be any chapter in the book. So increase your chance of winning the entire book by taking the quiz. Let's move on. So. The chromium is extremely important, like we said, and you may not be able to get in the diet, but the, the, the diet that are rich in chromium is this. So the beef, the chicken, the turkey, the beans, the whole grains, the broccoli, eggs, and green beans are rich in chromium, which you should be consuming anyways with diabetes. But like I said, sometimes, you know, absorption may not be, may not be as good. The other problem is, that when you are diabetic, you need a lot more chromium because of your needs. So, uh, and if you're eating a lot of carbs, which is another problem because the more chromium uh, is being lost, the more carbohydrate you're eating because you're basically trying to metabolize those, those carbohydrates. Like athletes who are, you know, working out a lot, they will need carbohydrates and they will need to metabolize those. So they definitely need more chromium. But if you're not an athlete, uh, you know, you shouldn't be eating too much carbohydrate because if you do, then you're going to be losing the chromium and you will end up needing to replace it. So guys, I hope this video is helpful to you. Please remember to share, give a thumbs up, and remember to take the quiz uh, because this is the end of the video, and then you will have the chance to win a chapter from my diabetes book, The Ultimate Diabetes Book. You can win any chapter, and remember to stay tuned for the next video. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far, and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.